is an individual who is studying the English language in addition to his or her native tongue. Our students come to us from around the world as refugees and immigrants, hoping to better increase their understanding of reading, writing, and speaking the English language. In addition to their regular studies, many eligible ELL students choose to partake in the Citizenship Preparation Program. The lengthy application and screening process is followed by a final hurdle known as the naturalization interview, where applicants must answer a variety of questions involving United States civics. From start to finish, the entire process can take up to a year to complete. Here to represent her fellow ELL students and share her story is Mahela King. Hi, my name is Mihaela King. I wanted to share my story today so you will know a little about my life and how I came to America and became a citizen of this great country. If you are born in this country with good parents, you are more blessed than you might realize, and I hope my story inspires you to be thankful for who you are. I was born and raised in Romania. My mother died when I was about two years old. My grandparents took care of me until I was five years old. They were older and felt unable to provide the proper environment and education, so they decided to put me in an orphanage where I lived until I was 18. The orphanage was a blessing to me because it provided almost everything I needed, except for being loved by a family. After I graduated from high school, I took a three-month makeup course because that was something that interested me and I thought I could make a living doing something I enjoyed. I applied for a job in Dubai as a makeup artist and worked for some of the top brands in the world. I was blessed to do makeup for actresses and runway models and because I was good at my job, I was featured in five Middle East beauty and fashion magazines. One of my models was on the front cover of a bridal magazine. I met my husband Greg and we were married and had our honeymoon in Dubai. It was wonderful. After 10 days, my husband had to come back to the US for his job, so we started my emigration process. This process took us 11 months. Greg came to visit me in Dubai twice during this time, which made it a lot easier. I'm grateful that God has provided the finances and everything else we needed to be together. I was finally approved for emigration, emigrating, sorry. I was finally approved for emigrating to the US and we moved to North Dakota where Greg has a job in the oil field and we bought our new house. The emigration process to become a citizen is quite long. It has taken almost four years after I arrived in the US and it has been quite expensive. There is a test I had to pass in order to be approved for my citizenship. The questions are important things that every American should know about this country and show how important our country is. Questions like, what is the supreme law of the land? And who is the father of our country? What is one reason colonies came to America? Who makes federal laws? What is the Declaration of Independence? And who wrote it? What movement tried to end racial discrimination? In all this time, while trying to memorize the 100 citizenship questions about America, I found myself falling in love more and more with this country by learning how much this nation fought 
for their freedom and liberty. If Americans don't know these important things, their freedom is in jeopardy and their rights can be violated. I encourage you to embrace your history and learn about your country. You have no idea how wonderful this country is. In order to help me learn these important things, Helen, one of my colleagues, suggested that I come to the Adult Learning Center where I got help learning the citizenship questions that I needed to know. I also wanted to learn how to improve my English. This is the first speech I ever delivered and I want to thank Paula, Holly, Beth, and the Adult Learning Center for helping me through this process. At the beginning of March, I had my citizenship interview, which I proudly passed, and I can't wait for the day when I take my oath to become a citizen. They said it will take another three to six months. When God chooses the place where we should live, we should be so thankful that we can be citizens of the United States of America. I heard that schools used to stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance every morning before starting the day. The Pledge of Allegiance was written in August 1892 by the Socialist Minister Francis Bellamy. In 1954, in response to the communist threat of the times, President Eisenhower encouraged Congress to add the words, under God, Section 4 of the flag code states, the Pledge of Allegiance to the flag should be rendered by standing at attention, facing the flag with the right hand over the heart. I'm going to say the Pledge of Allegiance for the first time, and if you would like to join me, please stand and put your right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless you and the, the United States of America. Thank you. read her speech and even listening to it now, it's hard to keep the tears away. Um, I work with the citizenship students as does Holly and it is quite a process and it is a long process and the paperwork is tremendous and I really, really respect those who go through it and persevere to get through the process because it gets daunting and discouraging at times and then the long waits in between not knowing exactly you know how far along are you and when is your time when is your turn going to come to finish this up we had uh, seven individuals this year complete the citizenship process which is quite a few more for us in the uh, past years uh, prior to the uh, oil boom we probably would average maybe one a year and tonight we were ready to honor um, four of them, in addition to Mahela. Uh, those other three have not been able to be present for various reasons. Work probably is the main one. But we are going to present Mahela with a certificate and a lapel pin of our nation's flag.